The Minecraft 120 update is here, which includes the brand new cherry biome. And we're gonna go find one today so we can build a cozy cottage getaway. Welcome back everybody to the chill survival series. Now let's get started. So things around this base have really been coming along. In our last live stream, we upgraded some of these paths to look a little bit nicer. And of course, we have our most recent addition to this base, which are these guys. What's up, homie? How you doing? Oh, a bit of the cold shoulder. Okay, it's all right. It's early morning. I get it. I need time to wake up too. You may have noticed that a couple more of these guys have joined us here as well. Good to see you, Snuffles. What are you digging up for me, huh? <gasps> more torch flowers. Nice. We'll get this planted right over here. This garden's coming along really nicely. And what's that? You learned to write? Subscribe to Infinite Drift. Huh. I never thought I'd see the day. All right, as much as I love these sniffers, they are absolutely the cutest things that I've ever seen. There's a slight issue with them. Their sniffing is starting to drive me absolutely nuts. And they're always blasting music late at night, which means I have not had a proper sleep in days. So I think I need a quiet place where I can just get away and relax. And I was thinking, what better place than a peaceful cherry forest surrounded by beautiful flowers, crisp water, and okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. But really, what better landscape for a cute and peaceful cottage? All right, if we're gonna do some building and exploring, there's a couple things that we're gonna need. I'll definitely be taking all of this spruce, and I feel like oak could look really cool with cherry wood as well. And I know we'll likely run into a lot of oak nearby, but I'm not exactly sure how much spruce we're gonna have, so let's take some saplings while we're at it. And the last thing that we need to do before we go is repair some of our tools. Cause yeah, the little spoon isn't looking too great. So let's head on over to our XP farm and quickly repair some of these. All right, I think this should be good enough for our tools. Let's just grab a couple more bones in case we need to make some bone meal. Now, one of the things I forgot was a little bit more iron in case we need to make some hanging lanterns and signs. And last but not least, let's feed our cows so we can get a little bit more steak for some food. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, that should be good to keep us going for this adventure. And let's burn this up really quickly. All right, that's all done, so I think we're good to head out now. So I think the best direction to head in would be behind this mountain. The last time we went this way to get to the mangrove, I noticed a lot of plains and plateaus. So I think that with all of this terrain newly updated, there's definitely a chance that some of it has turned into cherry biome. So let's head out this way and see what we can find. I think this might be an old growth birch forest. You can tell because of the taller birch trees. Apparently you can find trail runes in this biome and those are indicated by terracotta and gravel sticking out of the ground. <gasps> oh wait, no, that's literally a sheep. <laughs> I thought that was a piece of terracotta. Oh. Now we're not gonna go looking for one today, but it's nice to know that this biome's close by when we wanna do that. All right, I'm starting to see some plateaus, which is a really good sign because cherry biomes end up on hills that look like this. All right, I'm following you guys up. No cherry biome up here, but we'll find one soon. I know it. Oh, <gasps> there we go. Cherry trees. We finally found it. All right, let's go check this out. Look at this. They're so pretty. I love it. Look at the falling petals <gasps> and the flowers. I'm pretty sure what you can do with these is you can place different amounts. So you can place one, two, three, or four if you want. That is so cool. And that leaves for so many options for decorating. However, it seems like this biome is pretty small. I'm not sure this is gonna be big enough for our cottage getaway. I feel like there's gotta be another one close by that's a bit bigger than this. So let's keep going and see if we can find the absolute perfect spot for our cottage. Oh, ooh, this one looks like the one. Oh, let's hope this one's a bit bigger. Yes, here we go. This is looking so much more substantial than the last one that we found. This is the perfect cozy getaway for us. Let me put some of this stuff away in a chest so we have more space to take a look at this cherry wood. All right, let's start chopping into one of these. Why does it make the most satisfying sound when it's being broken? Actual 10 out of 10 for the sound. Let's also shear some of these leaves while we're at it because I'm sure we're gonna use these for our build. When you break the leaves with your ax, they definitely feel a little bit more crunchy and light. I don't know if they break faster than oak, but it almost feels like they do. It could also just be the sound that's tricking me into thinking that. Hey, what are you doing here? You're ruining the magic of this place. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. We got the regular cherry log, which sounds amazing when you place it, by the way. Then there's the strip version, which looks really nice. Then we've got the planks, which I think is honestly my favorite out of all of these three. Then there's the door, which also gets a 10 out of 10 for sound. And honestly, the design is super cute. Got ourselves a trap door 
which I love the look of this too. I love how it's see-through. And then for the remainder of it, we got our fencing, signs, and boat. Honestly, I love how all these blocks look. They are super cute. And I think they're the perfect blocks to build a cozy cottage with. All right, now that we have a good idea of how these blocks look, we need to find the perfect spot for this house. I'm not so much worried about finding a giant flat patch of land. We can always terraform. I'm more so looking for a good spot where the sun will shine brightly on it. I feel like this might be a good spot. It's towards the highest top of the mountain, so the sun reaches it pretty nicely. And it looks like it's pretty much in the heart of the biome, which is nice because we're surrounded by cherry trees all around us. Yeah, I feel like this is the spot. It ticks off all the boxes and it's just got a good vibe to it. So let's mark this area out with a post and some torches so we know where we're going to build. Yeah, I think a house is going to look so nice amongst these trees. All right, now that our spot is picked out, let's gather up some resources so we can begin building this thing. All right, let's start off by clearing up some of these trees so we have a little bit more space to work with. Plus, we're going to need quite a bit of this for our build. Oh, looks like this tree is home to a bee, so we are definitely going to leave you alone, buddy. All of these other trees are kind of casting shadows on the space that we want to work with, though. So they've got to go for sure. I feel like you get tons of saplings when you chop down these trees. I've got almost a stack now. And I think I may have only chopped like four or five down. All right, so we've ended up with about five stacks of cherry wood. And I think that should be enough for this build. The next thing I'm going to do is fix up some of the terrain around this area, which is going to require a little bit of dirt to flatten out some spots. Alright, so now that we've got our area all cleared out and ready to go, the next thing we need to do is figure out which blocks we're going to pair with our cherry wood for this build. So I was kind of thinking of maybe trying a combination of spruce and oak with the cherry wood. Alright, so we've got these logs right here, and let's strip them all. Honestly, they look kind of cool together. That combo also kind of looks like Neapolitan ice cream, which is delicious. Alright, let's see what they look like with the planks too. Yeah, I think that looks really good. I feel like if we're smart with the way that we use these in the build, they'll all work together really well. And if it doesn't work, well, uh, I guess we'll have to figure something else out. But I'm really confident that it's going to look pretty cool. All right, let's start off by building up some beams with some stripped oak. Now I want the roof to be slanted, so the beams are going to have to be different heights in order for it to work. Once all the pieces of this build are in place, essentially the roof is going to converge at that tall beam. All right, let's pop down the footprint of the wall for this part. Now on to the next piece of the build. I wanted to actually rest on this hill one block higher, so I'm just going to have to quickly terraform some of this. And then next, let's build this wall flush with this beam. This piece is the one that's going to have its roof converging with the tall beam that we built earlier. And finally, let's just put in one more section of this build to give ourselves a bit more room for maximum comfort. All right, so this is pretty much the structure of the build laid out. The shape may not make a whole lot of sense right now, but that's because the roof is a really integral part of this build. All right, let's get this roof put up so we can really see everything come together. So on this side, we're just gonna climb up using spruce slabs. And then we'll build up on the other side with some stairs and slabs until we reach the middle point. I made it so the center point of this roof is beside the beam rather than on top of it. And it may look a little bit funky right now, but we can make this asymmetry work to our favor if we decorate it properly. And for the last piece of this house, I'm just gonna go with the classic roof shape. And I think this is looking real cute so far. All right, to finish off the structure, all we really need to do is fill the walls in and fill in the roof. All right, this is what we've got so far, and I think it is really starting to come together. I feel like the left side of this house could use a little bit more height to it, so I'm going to place a small section on the rooftop. I don't really know what to call this because it's not a tower. So, uh, a small room? There we go. That's looking good. I think that small little room up there just added a little bit more interest to the left side of the build. All right, now that the structure's in place, we can begin decorating this thing. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to find a river or ocean because I need some clay to make pots. We're going to need lots of them to decorate. All right, let's just quickly grab this with our silk touch shovel and we'll break it above ground. Can't forget to get all the ones that are floating away. And let's grab just a little bit more because I want to make some of those big pots as well. I think that should be enough. Now the question is, do I have any cobblestone or coal so I can actually burn this stuff? We've got 15 in my inventory, but I don't think that's going to cut it. So I guess that means we've got to find a little bit of a cave somewhere so I can grab some more materials. Ow. 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 Oh, what's this? Oh, there's tons of coal here. Perfect. Oh no, trouble. Oh, lots of trouble over here. 
Oh no. Oh no, you see me. It's too late. Get out of here. This is supposed to be a cozy retreat. All right, I think in the name of coziness, we're just gonna block this off and pretend that we never saw it. Ah yes, relaxing mining while a group of mobs are on the other side of the wall trying to get me. This is peak relaxation. Ah, all right, we got enough coal. I'm out of here. All right, we're back with everything we need, so let's make ourselves some furnaces and let's get this clay broken down so we can make some bricks. I probably should have just made a cobble shovel, but it's too late now. I've committed. Actually, you know what? No, I've not committed. This is this is taking a long time. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, let's pop all this clay in the furnace. And while that's burning, we can begin decorating everything else. So we've got a little bit of asymmetry that we need to combat with right here. And I think one of the solutions would be to kind of highlight certain parts of the area on this wall to complement it rather than draw too much attention to it. And I feel like having different shapes built in will help with that. And I think already that's starting to help because it creates a little bit of an L shape right here underneath a full circle. And then it begins to feel like the asymmetry is a little bit intentional and wants to work with the build rather than compete against it. The next thing that we need for this build are some windows. So let's pop one out maybe right here and right here. And for this one, we'll get a stair right here. And this one doesn't really need it because it's covered by the roof anyway. And then let's just pop some trap doors in them. Then this spot could probably do with a window as well. And then finally, we need an entryway. I think the perfect spot would be right here. Yeah. We can have like a really cute path with a little garden out front. It's gonna look super cute. All right, we need something to cover up this dirt. But I also wonder if I replace this with grass blocks, will it turn into dirt? I don't think so. Oh wait, no, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so for some reason, it just turns into dirt. I don't really know why, but that's how it do be. That's okay though, because we're gonna cover that up. So I'm thinking in this spot, we could put a little planter. And I'm not gonna fill in trap doors here because I think putting in pots on each side would frame it really nicely. Speaking of the pots, I think we can finally make some. We'll put one down here and over here. Yeah, I think that's really nice. All it needs are a couple of flowers in there and then we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and craft some smaller pots as well. That way we can place a couple on this ledge, maybe down here. And do I have a dead bush? Oh, no, I don't. That's okay, for now we're gonna put cherry saplings in these pots. Then we can put a lantern in between for some lighting. And since we have our lights, we might as well try popping one here and maybe on the side right here. So the decorating is going really well. However, I've run into a slight predicament. I honestly forgot to bring some decorations with me, such as dead bushes so we can make trees. I really wanted to use some torch flowers here. And most importantly, I forgot my book collection for when we decorate the interior. You can't have a cozy cottage without a book nook. That is just not cozy at all. So I think we might actually have to make a quick little trip home to gather some more supplies. And then once we have everything, we can finish this off and we'll be able to retreat here for at least a solid week or so. It's already been so peaceful out here. Honestly, maybe it's a good thing that we check to see what's going on at home. The sniffers have been pretty rowdy lately and I'm getting a little bit worried that they may have trashed the place. Hopefully everything's still intact when we get back. Uh, is that music? Oh no, I think I know who the culprits are. Wait, what is this? Welcome to party town. When did they put this up? Also, what what's all this stuff? Is that trash on the ground? Why is it such a mess over here? Guys, what have you been up to? Okay, the loud music was one thing, but this is just getting out of hand. Is this a hot tub? When did you put this in? How, how could you afford this? These things are so expensive. Who built a skate ramp? And since when could any of you skateboard? Tony Hawk was here and you didn't even invite me? Well, now I'm just a little sad. What's that up there? DJ Swaggy Drift? But I'm Drift. I don't DJ. They're one of the top DJs in the world. Guys, I know you love music and I know you love to party, but can we please at least keep this to weekends? I haven't been able to sleep for days. And also, I'm a little sad I'm not invited to these. I like to dance. I like to skateboard. So parties only on weekends, capiche? Capiche. Well, I was not expecting to come home to this. But since we're already here, flowers were on the list of things that we needed. Whoa, sick moves, dude. You really can skate. All right, we got everything we need from here. So let's head back into the house and grab the rest of the supplies for the cottage. And hopefully the sniffers have gotten the message to calm it down a little bit and maybe invite me once in a while too. 
because I'm a little jealous. All right, the next thing that we need are some dead bushes. And finally, we need some leather so we can make some books for our bookshelves. We need lots of paper, so let's head on over to our sugarcane farm really quickly. And hopefully there should be some in here. Let's see. Ooh, yes. This thing has worked out for us quite well, actually. All right, let's just get these books crafted really quickly just to save some space for us. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to expand my reading list because that's a lot of books. Now, before we leave, I wanna make sure this place is looked after, so I'm gonna pay a visit to Ruth. Ruth, you keep an eye on those sniffers and make sure they don't get into any more trouble, okay? All right, well, I guess with all of these things, we're pretty much ready to head back over to our cottage. And then once we're done decorating, we'll be able to actually kick back and enjoy a real break. I'm so excited. Ah, finally back at our cozy cherry cottage. So peaceful, so quiet, so beautiful. And even more beautiful now that I grabbed us some extra things to decorate with. All right, let's place some small pots in these bigger pots. And we'll get our torch flowers in here. Yeah, that's looking so cool. All right, so I think the next thing we're gonna need outside of this house is a pack. And luckily I thought to grab some of these blocks from our house before we left. There, I think keeping it relatively simple is perfect for this house. I feel like a pink fence in front of this entryway would look really nice. Yeah, I think that looks really good. And then to add a pop of color, we can put this pitcher plant here. Maybe one right here. And let's bring back some of these flower petals. I'm curious, if you bone meal this grass, do you get flower petals with it? No, I think you just get grass. That's okay though, we do need to bring some of this grass back that we took away earlier. Oh, nope, you do get flower petals too. Okay, interesting. All right, with the grass and petals added back in, I think the exterior is done. I'm really happy with how this turned out. All right, with our exterior done, it's time for us to move on to the interior. And uh, boy oh boy, does this need some work. Yeah, it's looking like a hot mess in here. So I think the best place to start is with these floors. One new block that has a really nice design on top of it is the chiseled bookshelves. Then in the middle of that, we can toss in a piece of oak and strip that. And we have a nicely decorated floor at the entryway. And then maybe beside it, we can get a strip of oak across like this. And I think spruce at the back over here will leave it feeling very cozy. Now this is a pretty big section over here and I think it might look really cool if we made it into a reading nook. All right, let's break these. And would it look bad if we did pink stairs here? I don't know, it might work. We have to fill everything else in first though. All right, we're gonna have to bring these walls down a little bit more. And then we're just gonna fill in the remainder of the space with a ton of bookshelves. And then we'll leave this wall open for a little reading area. However, I think replacing some of these with other types of blocks will help break up the pattern a little bit more. I've gotta break these with my shovel though, cause it's the only tool I have with Silk Touch. Okay, I think we're getting there with this. I think it just needs a couple decorations. There's nothing some lighting and some pots can't fix, you know? Let's get a big one in this corner. Small one here, small one on top. And we got another big boy that can go maybe right here. Yeah, looking good. All right, let's fill in this floor so it's no longer an eyesore with this dirt. I think that's pretty cute. So it's definitely missing some lighting. And then let's fill up these pots with some flowers. There we go, this is really starting to come together now. The cherry leaves dropping those petals look so cool. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, the books. This is gonna make the biggest difference to this area. So what I love about these bookshelves is you can basically place them in any pattern that you want. So each shelf can look slightly different from one another. Apparently I didn't bring enough books, so we're gonna have to spread some of these guys out a little bit more. Yeah, this is looking so cool. I love this, very, very cozy. Now we need to figure out what we're gonna do so we can lounge around and read a book. And I thought it might look kinda cool if we put a cozy sunken in day bed in this corner. And then let's recess this wall so we can get a reading light behind us and a pot with a flower. There, I think that's looking real cozy. This is the perfect spot to kick back, relax, read a book, and even nap, especially on a nice rainy day. So the most important room of this cottage is pretty much done, minus a couple item frames and paintings here and there. And then other than that, we just have to decorate a couple more things in this entryway, and then we've got ourselves a cozy cottage. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time decorating the rest of the house, and then we'll have the perfect place to relax and vibe. All right, I think that the cozy getaway cottage is done. And I am so happy with how this turned out. I'm really happy that I went with a different roof style this time around, rather than the classic ones that I usually go with. I don't know exactly how to describe this style. 
It almost looks a little bit like a hobbit hole, but still not really. So yeah, the outside is looking super cute, super cozy, and I am in love with the shape of it. I think it looks super cool. Now, if we go on the inside, I finished everything up, and I think it is looking very, very cozy. So when you walk in, we've got our little landing area with some storage, a decorative pot, lots of paintings, some lighting. So we don't have any full walls, but I did section the front of the house off a little bit. And then in this little room, we've got like a little kitchen storage area. So you got some counter space, got some barrels, some more storage back here. And then I just made a little divider wall with these trap doors. Now this leads into the cozy reading area, which is my favorite part of this house. I love it so much. I wish I could live here in real life, to be honest. So in here, we have a vast selection of books. As you can see, we have Twilight New Moon down there. Up there, we've got another copy of Twilight New Moon. Um, we've got Breaking Dawn right here. Oh, and we've also got Twilight Eclipse up here as well. And down here, these two are also Breaking Dawn. So yeah, we have lots and lots of reading to do. But that's okay because we have a really cozy spot right here so we can just sink our teeth into the Twilight Saga. We're not going anywhere until we finish it. It's gonna be a great time. Oh, I almost forgot. I made like a little attic area up there, but you can't really fit anything, so it's just storage. So yeah, I think that on a scale of one to cozy, I mean, this this surpassed cozy, definitely. We've got everything that we need in here for a relaxing getaway trip. The only thing I did kind of forget to pack though was snacks. I was rushing out the door. And there's not really a convenience store close by, so I, I, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But other than that, this place is the best getaway that I could ask for. And if you listen closely, no party noises. None. Whatsoever. All right, everybody. I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. I've got a couple good days here until I need to go back home to the base and take care of things. And as you can see, I've got a lot of reading to do. Thank you everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you all in the next one.